Welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another video of BMB Virtualization v 7.0 and in this session we will discuss about the components of a standard switch. So in our last session we discussed about how to create a port group. Uh, we successfully created a port group and added virtual machine in our port group. So now let's talk more about the options. Let's talk more about the components which is available in a standard switch. So let me connect our ESXi host. This is the ESXi panel and uh, uh, just need to click on networking. So in our last session, we discussed about the port group. So we have already completed the part of port group. But we need to know about the feature. We need to know about the options which is available in port group. So firstly, we just try to understand about the options which is available in single port group. And then we'll move ourselves to the virtual switch and physical NIC, VM kernel, TCP IP stack and firewall rules. So this is our agenda. We'll try to understand each and everything. Let's start from the very basic. Uh, uh, talk more about uh, the concept of uh, port group. So as discussed in our previous session, uh, port group is work just like as a uh, VLAN. If we talk about the VLAN, so you know that VLAN is a feature, is a protocol which is available in our uh, manageable switch and with the help of this particular protocol, we are able to segregate the department. For example, you purchase a one uh, physical switch with port uh, with uh, 48 ports and you want to segregate the port, you want to uh, uh, segregate the departments like as uh, HR don't want to uh, HR want we connect with the sales department and sales want we connect to uh, IT department but unfortunately you have a single physical switch so VLAN protocol can help you to segregate the department if you create a VLAN 1 for HR VLAN 2 for sales and VLAN 3 for IT department and if you put the user definitely they all are unable to communicate to each other so like that, over as you uh, over uh, uh, VMware virtualization over a uh, ESXi 7.0 standard switch, we have option to create a VLAN by using the option of standard switch by using the option of a port group. So let me show you again, and after that we'll discuss about the options which is available in our uh, port group. Okay, so give me one minute, guys. VMware networking. This is our agenda. And in VMware networking, we already discussed, uh, we have a two different way to configure our network. One with the help of standard switch and second is by using the distributed switch, we are able to establish our entire virtual network environment. So a standard switch, which is available in ESXi and for the distributed switch, you need to configure V we send a server first, then you are able to use the services. So we'll talk more about the di distributed switch later, but uh, our, our agenda to understand about the all option which is available in the standard switch. Okay, so a standard switch, uh, we have a number of components are available in case of a standard switch. For example, this is our standard switch and uh, that contain a, a number of features. We are talking about the port group first. So port group, is a service that can help us to create a different different department it works just like a VLAN like HR is a department sales is a department and IT is also type of department right so if you create a port group with name of HR and put some virtual machine in HR department and you create a one uh, port group with name of sales you put a two or three different virtual machine in the sales department IT department contain up to 10 virtual machine so it means that they are unable to communicate to each other only the reason of port group only the reason of you can say that VLAN clear although all our virtual all virtual machines are available all virtual machines connected with same standard switch correct so uh, I hope you understand about the concept of port group let me check how many options are available in port group so we need to create a one port group click and uh, type the name of port group so let me create with name of hr and this is the vlan id you must need to provide at least one vlan id for every department and about the switch switch zero because we haven't discussed about the switch means we are using the default and another option is related to the security and in the security we are able to find three different options are available Promascus mode, MAC address changes, and forge transmit. It's really important for everyone. 
promiscuous mode, uh, we are able to find three different options available. Like, uh, just give me one minute. Okay, talk about these three important options which is available in our uh, uh, port group property. Even the same option you are able to find in our switch because here we are able to find inherited from switch. Means it's fully depend upon the switch which types of configuration you com uh, configured in your switch. It will be impact to your port group. But what happen if you proceed with accept or reject? In case of promises mode, accept and reject. In case of MAC address changes, both options are available, accept and reject, and force transmit. So it's a really important service for everyone because if you want to design your own network environment with the help of VMware virtualization, so you should know about the meaning of these particular options. Let's talk about the promiscuous mode. So promiscuous mode can help you to make a communication between physical machine to virtual machine. Got it? For example, we have one ESXi host that we established with the uh, 7.0. This is our ESXi host, right? And uh, in ESXi, we created a one virtual machine with Windows 10. This is Windows 10 operating system running in our ESXi. We have a physical computers as well, right? These all are the physical system. And both, both machines communicating to each other because uh, they all are connected with same switch. This is our physical switch and we have a physical computers like desktop or laptop. And this is our virtual machine which is established in our ESXi host. The meaning of promiscuous mode. What happen if, if we just uh, uh, accept it? If you just accept it or reject it and last option is related to the inherit. So if you proceed to accept, it means that you want to transfer data between virtual machine to physical machine. Is it clear? The promiscuous mode, if you just accept it, you are able to transfer data between physical machine to virtual machine. If you don't want to transfer, please proceed with reject option. It means that you don't want to communicate according to the data, means you don't want to trigger any data from virtual machine to physical environment, please reject it. This is the actual meaning of promiscuous mode. Second, MAC address changes. As per the name suggests, if we talk about MAC address changes, all options are available, accept, reject, and inherit. So we consider only accept and reject. Accept and reject. Okay, fine, talk about it. We created one virtual machine, and virtual machine connected with a, a standard switch, and a standard switch contain a multiple port group. And you want to configure a port group with MAC address changes and promiscuous mode. So if you accept it, it means that you are able to create a clone, because once you create a clone, you must need to change the MAC address of your virtual machine. If your virtual machine available in, in standard switch, available in port group, and you activated the MAC address changes, you, you, if you accept the option of accept in case of uh, your port group, then you are able to make a changes with your virtual machine's MAC address. Second, reject. If you don't want to create a MAC, uh, if you don't want to use the, uh, uh, you can say that uh, clone of your virtual machine, means you don't want to create a clone of your VM, so you must need to reject it. Although you created your virtual machine's clone, but you are unable to change the MAC address. If you are unable to change the MAC address, you cannot use your virtual machine in same network environment because you know that it's uh, it's not possible to use same MAC address based virtual machine in same network environment. So that's why you need to proceed with reject. Last option is force transmit. As per the name suggests, force transmit. If you accept it, it means that you want to align the entire network access. Means it can help you to manage your traffic, the incoming and outgoing tra traffic, which is managed by the force transmit. So if you have a multiple client want to access with your virtual machine at a time, so you must need to activate. And if you reject it, it can just uh, 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 you are unable to make a. Uh, traffic, you, you are unable to make a load balancer between your uh, on-premises physical machines uh, data to your virtual machine environment. So these three important services can help you to manage your virtual uh, port group that you configured in our standard switch. I hope you understand about the meaning of these three different options which is available in port group properties. Clear? I hope you understand. The first step to uh, create a standard switch uh, to create a port group. Second is step you need to select your virtual machine that you created. Go to the action. 
click edit setting and we are able to find network adapter select your network adapter and change the priority so I just want to use the HR HR is our port group I don't want to consider like as a normal networking I want to create our network environment uh, network environment for virtual machine separately the only HR people can communicate to each other is it clear next another option is related to the virtual switch so it's our responsibility we should know about the uh, how many time uh, uh, about the option or components which is available in our standard switch property so by default we have a single switch the switch name is uh, uh, you can say that uh, switch 0 v switch 0 number of ports are available 3 uplinks 1 and types of switch is uh, standard switch so first we need to know about the option which is available in, in the standard switch property so whenever we click on the standard switch it give you the complete information about uplink about the port group that you created and another important information available like as a switch detail mtu number of ports which is available link dis discovery ctp and uh, uh, nic teaming option you could configure the nic teaming and same option that we configure in port group it's a security policy means uh, uh, MacAdress changes, uh, Promascus mode, force transmit, these options are available in this particular panel and shaping policy, you can decide the configuration, you can decide the uh, data transaction, bits or speed. So if you want to check, just need to click on edit option, you just need to, if you want to make any changes with these options, you just need to click edit and we are able to find MTU, maximum transaction unit, it's a default number no need to make any changes here because it, you can use it uh, by default it is managed by the uh, VMware self uplink we have a one uplink with 1000 10,000 Mbps means 10 Gbps uh, of uh, speed link discovery so basically link discovery can help you if you are using any Cisco devices in our environment for the networking purpose like as a uh, Cisco router Cisco switches or Cisco firewall so uh, link discovery can help you to make a communication between your virtual environment to physical environment means physical switches or router that you configure this is security option we have already discussed if you want to configure a security promiscuous mode you are able to communicate between on-premises virtual machine on-premises physical machine to azure virtual uh, to uh, vmba virtual machine mac address you cannot change the mac address change the mac address after creating the clone because you selected the reject and force transmit which is help us to manage the traffic between our uh, virtual machine to physical machine NIC teaming another important option is related to the NIC teaming so as per the name suggests means we have option to create multiple NIC in single switch we are able to create a multiple uh, NIC card it, it can help us to manage the load it is responsible to manage the load means it's a, it works just like load balancer and also it works like as a uh, active and passive means if any switch uh, if any NIC card is not working properly so second NIC can uh, take care of the entire thing okay okay to create to configure the nic teaming we must need to add more than one nic more than one nic card in our esxi then we are able to uh, configure the part of nic teaming so do one thing i'm just going to create another video will give you the another session related to the nic teaming especially because uh, we need to understand lots of things which is available in the property of nic teaming like load balancing failover so we'll try to understand about it uh, practically now talk about we have option to connect multiple switch in same ESXi host. So how we can add it, how we can configure it. We just need to click on networking again. Click on add in st standard switch, standard virtual switch. You can type the name of your standard switch like I'm going to proceed with name of uh, training. The switch name is training and you can change the MTU or uh, about the security option. So it's fully depend upon you. No need to do anything. Click add. Now we created a two different switches, two different virtual switches which is available in our ESXi. Talk about the uh, configuration. So in our training switch, we don't have any port group, we don't have any uplink. So it's our responsibility to add a port group and standard switch in our uh, 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 in, in in our new standard switch that, that that we added, right? So how we can do that? You just need to click on add uplinks. Once you add the uplink, it gives you option to create the port group. 
but unfortunately we don't have an IC so you must need to add at least one NIC card and after NIC after adding the NIC you are able to add the NIC card to our new switch so let's talk more about it the configuration of a standard switch new standard switch but in next session so this is all about the standard switch guys i hope you all of you understand about the concept or component which is available in standard switch and let me know if you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment okay guys we'll connect soon in another video take care bye bye